Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the monthly weight loss recap. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and this series is where I document my weight loss journey, the ups and downs, the in and outs of what it's really like through a daily vlog type of format so you can see what I'm really going through in this journey of me trying to lose weight. Um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe so you can stay up to date with your favorite girl on the internet. Like, comment, and follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with me in real time. So let's get into this monthly weight loss recap for May. I went to the gym, 25 minutes on the elliptical, but I did it. Oh my gosh. Dinner is served with some dessert, of course, because I'm obsessed with dark chocolate hummus. So that's the first update for me. Salmon, broccoli, giant, like they're massive strawberries with dark chocolate hummus. Currently on the stairs. seconds left. Oh, I'm drenched. I'm drenched in sweat. I'm doing this for 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. Finally done. Why is it still going? Oh, I'm just saying like a five minute cool down. I ain't, I ain't doing that. Oh my gosh. About to eat my dinner along with the dark chocolate hummus and strawberries already washed. So yeah, I'm gonna tuck into this right now and watch some Netflix. It's currently snowing, pretty light. I did not want to go to the gym this morning. I woke up and I was just like, I don't want to do it. But I finally got to the house around 5.35, got to the gym are working out at 5.40 to 20 minutes on the stairs. And yeah. I will say, when you haven't gone to the gym for a couple weeks, it is hard to get up in the morning, like at 4.30, 5 o'clock. I got out of bed around 5.15, 5.20. Well, actually 5.25. Got to the gym here around 5.30. I only did 15 minutes because I was just so so tired now it's 5 55 i was just so exhausted i was like i can't do 20 minutes although that was the minimum that i wanted to do today at whole foods <laughs> but yeah this is what i'm doing and i currently weigh 214.8 pounds but this is like the most colorful beautiful salad i've ever eaten so hopefully it tastes just as good i'm just leaving the gym now Everything that you see glistening is just like pure sweat because I did the stairs for like 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. And I did it at like probably the fastest speed I've ever done for that amount of time. Did it at like a setting five. It was just fast for me, especially for 30 minutes. I can like really feel my heart, but I am like dripping. It's so bad. Currently it's 6 one in the morning. It is a beautiful day. Oh man. Oh my gosh. I'm just, wow. It was a good workout. It was definitely like really hard and challenging for sure, but it was a good, it was a good workout. Oh my gosh. Currently headed to the gym. It is 5.17 in the evening. I didn't go to the gym last night. I mean this morning. That's how turned around I am. But I'm trying to go to the gym right now. I'm gonna go on the stairs. I also just feel fat. <laughs> I feel very fat today. And yeah, I just I feel very bloated, which is interesting because I shouldn't be starting my period till next, till the end of the month. So I don't know what's going on. Um, 
but yeah, I just feel very fat and I'm just like, should have gone to the gym this morning, but I didn't. So now I'm here where it's hella crowded at the gym. I just got out the gym. I did 30 minutes on the stairs and then I was like, I still feel pretty strong. So I'm going to go do 15 minutes or 20 minutes on like, it's not the elliptical. It kind of slides more like swish, 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 swish. Um, which honestly, like now that I'm thinking about it, that's crazy that I did the stairs and then that machine for 15 minutes because usually after the stairs, I'm just dead. So I am tired, but man, I guess me feeling awful about myself really pushed me and motivated me at the gym in a, in a good way, I guess. So that's my, uh. Last update, I'm gonna go eat dinner because it's 6 11 and I'm. I don't feel hungry, but I know I need to eat. So, yeah. Also, that feeling of fatness that I felt earlier, I don't feel that anymore. I guess I just needed like a good sweat session because I just felt so bloated. Anyways, 30 minutes on the stairs, done and dusted and sweating, tired, I am hungry. Obviously, I need breakfast because it is 5.52 in the morning. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm finally getting back into the swing of things, which is really good. So, that neck injury that I had, no longer holding me back. I am in it to win it. Man, nothing like, well, I'm just realizing I just need to like not compare myself to others and just compete with myself. So. This is my breakfast because my avocados are not ripe, <laughs> so I can't eat them. So it's just two eggs, two slices of bacon, and the rest of this power greens juice, which is, as you can see, not a lot left. So that's the breakfast this morning. I'll probably get a dirty chai with coconut milk to keep me awake for this long day ahead. Hello. I probably look different to you because I got my hair did, so that's that's the new update. Also, have a little bit of granola on my lips. I like have a box of like vanilla flavored granola from Trader Joe's, and I just grabbed like a tiny handful because I was like, I'm just hungry. But I'm gonna show you what I'm having for dinner. It's this really nice looking salad that you can see. some chicken here and then I have a cup of strawberries and my cedars dark chocolate hummus so I'm not gonna eat that entire thing of dark chocolate hummus although I could I'm not I'm just gonna have it with the strawberries that are allotted to me that I allotted to myself and my salad with my drumstick so that's going to be my lunch and dinner for the next week. Just got out the gym and a lady came up to me and was like, Hey, I've seen you've been coming for a while now, a couple months. Um, and I can really tell that you've been losing weight. Um, that was seriously like the nicest thing ever to have someone come up to me at the gym that I don't know and just be like, Hey, you're, your hard work that you've been putting into the gym is paying off, girl. It's paying off. So, that made me good. 
It's 5.17 in the morning. It's a Thursday. I really don't want to get up out of my bed and go to the gym right now. But I do, I should, because it will help wake me up. Man. I even woke up at 4.30, but I was like, no, I didn't get enough sleep. I wake up at 5. I just don't want to go. I'm so tired. I didn't end up going to the gym today. Today's Friday. I am so tired. Also, I was wearing this. I just took it off my head. It protects my hair. But I'm like so sleepy. I also went to bed at around like 11. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going to the gym on Friday. I'm also hungry. I'm starving. I like don't have energy to get out of bed. Because I went to sleep late and I'm tired and I'm hungry. But I know, I know I need to make my avocado on toast. Egg and bacon. I'm gonna get up now. Oh, oh my god. Mm. Of course. Let's start this Friday. I'm having three eggs and two slices of bacon because my avocado was not ripe. So I wasn't able to have avocado on toast, but. At least I'm having eggs and bacon. So, I'm very frustrated. It's May 26th and I weigh 219.8. The only unhealthy thing that I've eaten this week was um, sushi from Sprouts on Friday. And then a medium fry last night with two pot stickers. Everything else was like really, really healthy. And I had salads majority of the time. In the morning this week, my avocados just weren't ripe enough. So I had like two eggs and two slices of bacon. A couple times I had three eggs. But that's like not... A lot of calories if I'm counting calories and I don't know like I just I don't understand how I gained weight like that I thought and the thing is like I don't even feel that big I feel like I slimmed down I'm just like really disappointed I thought I was going down and I was eating healthy but I guess not and I was like oh I'll switch to salads because you know it'd be nice to kind of switch things up a little bit with like the food it's just super disappointing also to have a more real moment of reality I just feel like I want to give up <laughs> and like not even weigh myself at all and just focus on the size of the clothing but like I I would like something to measure by so I'm going by like the weight on the scale I don't know it's just a, it's just a real thought that I'm having right now where I'm just like I just want to give up on this. I feel like I'm going to never lose weight and I'm going to be here forever. But I have lost weight, so I don't feel like I'm going to be here forever. But it's just frustrating so much. I just got out the gym. Today I did abs and some arms. And then I also 
did about 45 minutes of cardio. So I'm trying to just take yesterday as it sucked. Um, finding out that I had gained weight, even though I felt I was, I was eating healthy. I didn't feel it like I was eating healthy. Um, it's just frustrating. So I'm just like, you know what? Just work out, push yourself even harder at the gym because you don't really push yourself and eat really healthy and just don't snack um, at all and no sweets, none of that. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do this week. And for, you know, June, I'm just, I feel like I'm just really fed up with the fact that I'm not where I want to be in my weight loss journey. So yeah, that's currently how I'm feeling right now. I'm just motivated to just kick butt and get this weight off. So today I didn't go to the gym this morning because it was like hailing and raining this morning. But for dinner, I'm eating a salad and my grandma is in town and bought braided apple, apple strudel. Literally, I'm eating with temptation right in front of me. This is crazy. But anyways, these peonies are beautiful. So there's a positive. <laughs> it's 6.37. It's 6.37, um, same day. I'm headed to the gym. I am still a little full because I like had something to drink just now and I had an entire glass. So I feel like full from that. Full disclosure, I did have some chips and salsa and I had two lemon bars. So I'm trying to balance it out by working out right now. I'm just going to do some cardio and some ab work. Mainly probably cardio because I still feel a little full from that drink. So we'll do better tomorrow. We'll do better tomorrow. I worked out from 4.15 to 5.45. I'm exhausted, but I feel really good. And I feel like this is something that I should keep up. Um, this type of workout style. Oh my gosh. Also, I use five pound dumbbells. And then I try to do each exercise three times for about 15 to 20 reps each because I'm trying to lean out and lose that fat instead of trying to build muscle so I'm not lifting heavy. Um, I lifted heavy before and I just gained the muscle uh, really bad, like really fast, not bad. And yeah, it, it doesn't really like, for me, I gain muscle, but I gain it on top of that fat and I'd rather just kind of lean out, which is why I do a lower weight, but like higher reps. So that's what I did. So today is actually June 1st, but I kind of wanted to come on here and say the last week of May, I haven't weighed myself. I went to the gym at the beginning of the week, but um, I had a wedding yesterday on Friday, May 31st, and yeah, I went ham on eating food and dessert, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to enjoy myself. So... Although I was upset that I gained the weight, I'm sure I gained it um, these last few days for sure because I wasn't able to work out the past couple days. I wasn't able to, you know, eat as healthy, healthy as I wanted to in, you know, in a calorie de deficit um, because I was enjoying myself on the wedding and I didn't want to kind of hold back. So I don't feel bad about it. I feel like June is just going to be a new month and today is June 1st. So I'm just going to focus on a calorie deficit then eating really healthy, trying to go to the gym four to five times a week and pushing myself a lot harder in the gym. So that's going to be this goal this next month. 
of June, but I just wanted to kind of come on here and kind of explain like why I dropped off the last week of May because, well, I had a wedding and I feel like as far as wedding goes, if you've been a part of one and I was in this wedding um, or even gone to one, you know, sometimes it can get interesting with the food and I'm not going to lie, it was the best food ever. They had mashed potatoes, salmon, chicken with bacon, like chicken drizzled with bacon on top. It, like what? It was amazing. And then I also had my salad and a lot of green beans, um, which was really good. And then they had like some dessert. So I had like a cookie and I had like, they're like these mini cakes, like that size. Um, I had like two of those and they were like strawberry cakes with cream cheese filling on top, but I just took out the cream cheese because you know a girl is lactose intolerant, so that's how that went. <laughs> but everything else, I mean like all the food, everything, the dessert, it was, and the hors d'oeuvres, like the little appetizers that they had, we had like bruschetta appetizers with like salmon, one with like maple bacon, um, there was one with like feta cheese and something, I didn't have that one, but I had the maple bacon one and the salmon one. And these stuffed mashed potatoes. I had so many of those. Those were so good. I think I had like five or six of those. And they're like these little balls. So freaking bomb. Like no lie. It was delicious. Anyways. I will check in with you later. As you saw, May was... I wouldn't consider it a failure. But it's not... I don't know, it's it's part of the journey, it's part of the process. You guys saw my frustration, you saw um, how I didn't really lose the weight and then I lost the weight and then gained it back again. So it was definitely an uphill battle that I didn't necessarily lose or win, but I'm still on the journey and so it's just, reality of the situation this is what's going on so i'm hoping june will be so much better um in terms of that monthly recap i have a feeling it's going to be a good month for june and i'm just going to try to push myself harder and harder and be better about the things that i'm eating um and my workouts and stuff like that and just trying to have a better positive mindset i would say i was pretty pessimistic and very frustrated <laughs> for the month of May, um, but hey, it's a journey nonetheless, and I'm just gonna try to keep on checking forward. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for sticking with me on this journey of my weight loss, trying to, you know, get to where I want to be. Um, also, I don't know if I've mentioned some of the apps that I've used are the Might Fitness Pal by Under Armour. Um, it's where I track all of my food and snacks and stuff like that. And I can also track my progress for my weight loss and, you know, input like, this is my weight this day, this is my weight the next day, yada, yada, yada. I find having that like um, app style food journal is very helpful instead of writing everything down. I'm just not that type of person who's gonna write everything down. Having it in an app is way better for me. Um, and yeah. I think that's all I can give you on that. But yeah, as I said earlier, please do subscribe so you can keep up with me um, and follow me on Instagram at Jasmine Rosette. It's all under the same name, platform type of thing. So yeah, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to me on YouTube, leave me a comment, um, let me know your thoughts on the format, if you like it, if you don't like it, you know, suggestions on what I should do. And also, what do you guys want to see? Let me know in the comments below of what you guys want to see in these type of videos. Um, I think that's all I got. Uh, stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in June's weight loss recap. Hopefully, it's better.